What's up, guys? My name is Luke. I am the Offensive Yak. And thank you for joining me today for episode number 25 of our Direwolf 20 playthrough. Where in this episode, I'm getting myself some creosote oil. Now, you might be thinking, why do you need and or want creosote oil? Well, I'll show you why I want and or need creosote oil. Um, because it's pretty cool. We're working on gas generation. I know that wasn't on the list that I talked to you guys about last time, but our lava generators, while they are keeping up currently, uh, we don't have much headroom. And we are maxing out the amount of lava I am able to get my hands on. So, yeah. Um... We need a healthy amount of more power. So in order to get said power, uh, we're going to do gas burning generation. And to do that, I need some treated wood planks here, which requires creosote oil. Honestly, that's going to be more than enough for potentially for this entire playthrough. Um, right there. Uh, let's get some more buckets. Uh, is six enough? I need four more. Boom. Cool. Uh, the other thing I did, I went ahead and hooked up an aqueous accumulator. So we now have unlimited water because we're going to need it to be able to do this. Uh, I also made all of the other things that we're going to be needing here. Uh, so first thing we need to do, we need to make an engineer's workbench, which means I need treated wood sticks so that I can make treated wood fence and I need treated wood planks. And there and engineer's workbench. Uh, we're just gonna put this down right here because this is just gonna be temporary. The other thing I do need is an engineer's blueprint, which looks like we are missing aluminum. Uh, we do have blocks of aluminum. Did I not put aluminum over here? Apparently not. Well, easy way to find out. Yep, nope, I did not. Okay. So we're going to stick aluminum here. And while we're at it, I need a void upgrade for it. Boom. All right, cool. And what was I wanting? Oh, yes, the engineer's blueprint. Uh, we need to make the rest of that. Boom, engineer's blueprint. All right. Now, in order to make our garden cloche, we need a vacuum tube. <clears throat> In order to make a vacuum tube, we need copper wire, uh, glass, nickel plate, and redstone. Uh, redstone is not a problem. Glass won't be a problem. Uh, copper wire. Uh, there's going to be a different way to do it than that. Copper wire. 
Copper wire. Yes, this is the one. Uh, so we need copper plates, uh, which we can get from the multi-servo press. Okay. Boom. I've got a multi-servo press somewhere up there. Yep. All right. So we'll just craft 10. Sure. And then... I need me some engineer's wire cutters. And we'll just get a second pair. Boom and boom. Copper wire. Well, I finish getting this stuff ready. Let's roll the intro. And just like that, we're ready to make 18 vacuum tubes. That sounds good. Oh, wait. Uh, we may need that for one other thing. Uh, no, we do not. Okay. So, yes, I can get rid of this. And this stuff can all go away along with the vacuum tubes. Okay, the only thing left uh, that we need, I'm going to actually teach this to the system here. And then we're going to need to teach the iron plates to the system. Multi servo press. Perfect. Uh, doo -doo -doo. There, multi-servo, and because I know I'm out of crafting space here. There we go. Boom. And a garden cloche. Garden cloches are really cool. You can basically supply them with power and water, and they will grow plants for you. Uh, they're awesome. And the plant that we're going to be growing is going to be a potato. Uh, if I can spell. Boom, potato. Now, we're also going to be needing a trash can. Uh, an item trash can. Uh, so that we can filter out the poison potatoes. There we go. Okay, so let's go through this process. We're gonna set it up up here. Uh, we're going to move our digital miner. And we need a couple of polished andesites. There we go. Uh, we're also going to move these guys. I really want this here to be, this floor just to be power generation. Okay. Cool. So we're going to work backwards. Uh, first thing we need, well... Technically, the last thing that we're going to be needing will be the gas burning generator. Uh, this will output uh, power and burn gas. It's pretty simple. Uh, we're going to want to see, can we rotate it? Yes, we can. I want it rotated one more. There we go. And then energy pipes. Boom. And we'll go up one and over. Okay. And 
there we go. And then I want upgrade, there we go. So there's our gas burning generator. Now this thing needs, well, gas. Uh, and the gas that we're gonna burn in it is ethylene, um, which is made in the pressurized reaction chamber. Uh, which gives us substrate and ethylene. So we're going to want our pressurized reaction chamber to be here. And we're going to want side config of outputting. Yeah, output to the left for... Uh, let's see, do we want, this makes gaseous ethylene, yes. Okay, yep. Uh, so yeah, so we'll output to the left on, ah, there it is, gases. Output to the left, auto eject on, and I don't want input, okay, there we go. And then we'll go out the front for items. Um, we'll put a drawer there. And then this guy's going to need power. So one thing we're gonna do here is grab a another quantum entangleoper. Set it right here. Want it on that one. And I want output on all, auto eject on. Boom, and then I think we can go with a gold one here. Cool, so this should have power if I set it to input energy on the bottom. Why no power? It's outputting out the top. Oh, because it's not outputting out the top for energy. I always forget to do that. Now it should have power. Yes, it does. Okay. Now we need to fill this thing with a few different things. Um, and I want to, as much as possible, use... Um, Refined storage for my fluids. So hydrogen we're gonna get from the side, but water we're just gonna import in the back. Uh, we're actually gonna need two importers. Uh, I don't think we're gonna need any speed upgrades. I think it'll keep up just fine as is uh, at base speeds. Um, so we're going to need an importer in the back and an importer in the top and then some cables, going to need more cables. Cable there and we'll just go around here. There we go. So this one here is going to output... So we need one to output water, and we need one to output biofuel. Uh, so this one's going to be biofuel. Boom. Except I want these to be exporters, not importers. Yep, yep, yep. 
Definitely want them to be exporters. Also, I do want to turn my magnet off. There we go. Okay, so this one is going to be our uh, biofuel. Good. And this one up here is actually going to be fluids, and it's going to be water. There we go. I do love that JEI integration. And it looks like the water is already filling up. Perfect. Uh, the water one might need an upgrade. We'll see. Uh, so side config for fluids, it is set to accept in the top. And for items, I need it to accept in the back. Oh, yeah, I don't have any biofuel. That That's why it's not. <laughs> not going in there. Uh, also, for gases, I want input on the right. Okay. So, the gas that we need to give this thing is hydrogen. Now, hydrogen is made in an electrolytic separator. Okay. Uh, we are also going to be needing... A couple of chemical tanks. Boom. And there was something else I was going to grab. Oh, yeah. Uh, going to need a few drawers. Some iron downgrades. And some voids. Okay. Also an external storage for the biofuel. There we go. All right, so uh, like I said, we need to get our electrolytic separator. Uh, it is going to go here and it's gonna need power. So electrolytic separator. And on this side, we'll put a basic chemical tank. Uh, this guy is going to on gases, input on the right, output on the left, eject on. Uh, I also would like, uh, uh, there we go, dump access, yes, yes please. And then we're also going to put a tank On this side, it is going to just be an input dumping access. Now this guy is going to need water and it's already got power and that is it. So we're just gonna put an exporter on the back here, put it in fluids mode, give it water and cable it up. And we're gonna do that. <laughs> okay, uh, so we should be getting hydrogen into here. We are perfect. And we're getting oxygen over on this side, which we can use in the future. But for now, we'll store 64 buckets worth and then just dump the excess. Uh, it does mean that this machine uh, is going to run indefinitely. But, I mean, there's worse things in the world. The other thing I want to do, I definitely want to get uh, maybe 16. Uh, let's make it 32 
Oh, we are short on osmium. Are we now? Uh, we are not actually short on the osmium. It's just not processed yet. That we can change. Okay, well, we got a little bit of osmium going there. And then... We'll do that. Uh, we do have osmium chunks in here, right? Yes, osmium there. Uh, that's not where I wanted to put them. This is. And then I'm just going to take a quick uh, shulker box here with all the copper dust. It can sit in there. And this osmium can just go away. So now we're getting our osmium. Uh, looks like low on power there. Interesting. There's no way we're actually low on power, is there? Hopefully not. No, no, no. We've got 100 and 102 million. It may just not be able to accept power fast enough from the quantum entangleloper. Do have it set up to be output on all the sides. That one's giving us 32,000 per tick. All right. That should be plenty of osmium for what I want to do here. So I want 32 speeds. I want 32 energies. Because we're going to upgrade all of the machines up there. There's eight. Now go back. I'm not a huge fan of the carry on. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah, so we're definitely also going to be needing stack and speed upgrades. We're missing iron. Uh, okay. Uh, we've got plenty of the raw iron. Enderman. Uh, excuse me, sir. Come here. Uh huh. Thank you very much. I know. I know it's raining outside, but you do not need to be inside of my base. Okay, we're going to try to just do that there. And that, and that looks good.
Oh, the ticket acceleration. Can I do 64? It looks like it can keep up its uh, power use at 64x, but not 128. There we go. There's all the irons. Okay. So I was trying to get some stack upgrades and some speed upgrades so that we can get more water into the electrolytic separator. Three and one and Grab out these and these. Okay, and we'll go ahead and install our energy upgrades. All eight of them, which means it now uses, I don't know how much it uses because we don't have any water in it. But that's going to change quickly here. There we go. <laughs> uh, 8,000 per tick. Uh, so we're going to uninstall a few of these speed upgrades. Uh, where are we at now? Uh, 2,500? Still too much. <laughs> Uh, we'll install some of those back once we actually have the ability to uh, handle that. Going back up. All right. All right. And then... So that gets us our gases for the ethylene. Now we just need to produce biofuel. Now biofuel is made in the crusher, which actually I did not make a crusher, so I'm gonna have to do that. But you can do potatoes in the crusher. So we're gonna set up a little bit of a t potato farm uh, here in a second. First, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a crusher. Ah, yeah, it always takes a little while when it's got to make the steel. I do need to upgrade that machine. There we go. There's our crusher. And back up here. Uh, so it's not technically power generation, but I am still going to be putting our... Uh, stuff back here for making the potatoes because I'm only going to be using it for said power generation. Now, I do want this to be... Uh, I believe it's the back output. Hmm. We'll find out. Now, this cloche doesn't take much power. And... Need some more pipes. No. There we go. And... There. Looks like it's got power. All right, cool. And then we just need to input... So we can output here, but I think we need to input here the water. So we'll put an exporter of fluids 
and go with water. And this one doesn't use much water, if I remember correctly. Uh, there we go. Water is working. And then we're going to need a piece of dirt. To plant said potato on. Yep, it is functioning. Uh, I may have over over accelerated that a little bit, but that's okay. It'll uh, it'll work itself out. So then we're gonna need to grab some item pipes and pipe out of here. And the closest thing that we're gonna have is going to be a trash can. And then we're going to be piping in to a crusher next. So we're going to put a crusher here. And we are going to want a, an upgrade of some sort so that I can filter nearest first. Uh, we're also going to be filtering. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Grab me another poisonous potato, uh, because I believe you can, yes, I want to whitelist poisonous potato, so that nothing but a poisonous potato can go into this stupid thing. Uh, by the way, it's a trash can, if you hadn't noticed. Um, items config input on the top, and output the front. Boom, and then we'll just grab the rest of our energy pipes. There we go, it's got energy. And if I do this and this and nearest first, of course you would do that. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now that won't happen again. Uh, so we're getting biofuel. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, now I'm going to want a drawer in the front. There we go. It's already getting the biofuel. And I'm going to want my locking tool. We're not going to use a drawer controller on this one. Just an individual drawer. And then we're going to put an iron downgrade and a void upgrade. So what that does is it will void extras and keep a stack. Uh, although, since we're going to void on this one, yeah, I don't think we need to do the stack. Um, and then we're going to take our item pipes and we need to go into the pressurized reaction chamber. Actually, we are going to use an external storage on this guy for biofuel. And we'll set him to a nice high priority. And mechanism, gas generator, and pressurized reaction chamber can be muffled. Perfect. Uh, and then we're going to have to deal with the substrate, but that's quite all right. And then this guy is already producing 4,000, or excuse me, 1,000 RF attack. Now, this guy is going to need upgrades. 
So we're going to start with energy upgrades. Uh, it looks like he will only accept energy and speed. Currently using not even one FE attack. Now it's using 20 FE attack for the pressurized reaction chamber. So that, that one can be absolutely upgraded all the way. Uh, this one will accept only the muffling upgrades. Uh, now how's this one doing? All right, so this one's got all the energy upgrades. So let's let's do a couple of speeds. Not that many. I wanted like three-ish. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why. Those are all the energy upgrades. I want to uninstall the speed upgrades. <laughs> okay. Uh, so there's 600. There's 1.2 thousand. Yeah, we're going to stick there for now and we'll just see, you know, are we gaining or losing on hydrogen? We seem to be breaking even. on the hydrogen, uh, which is great. Uh, although this guy is no longer making fuel. So boom, and it's already depositing its substrate and it can get a void and a storage. Well, nah, we don't need the storage downgrade. I do want to lock it though, locked. Okay, and just like that, we're producing 3,000 RF a tick. Well, okay. We have gas burning generation. Now, how are we doing on the potatoes, biofuel? We are empty there. Uh, this guy is not getting enough biofuel. Okay, so what we might need to do is make some more cloches. And we can absolutely do that. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do that right now. Okay. I'll need the energy in the item pipes. There's one, let's make two more, make a total of four. Two. And three. And three more of those, cool. my crescent hammer back. Let's try to do this without messing things up. Boom, boom, and boom. Okay. And then I'll need some more exporters. Uh, three more of these and more potatoes and dirt. And we're also going to need the energy pipes. There we go. Is 
They're filling up. And our exporter should be done. And then we just need to configure them for fluids, water, water, and water. And good, good, good. Also, let's take a look here at our water. It looks like we're keeping up just fine, which is awesome. Okay. So with that, we should have no problems now once they build up a little bit of a backlog, um, uh, keeping up with our biofuel production, which will keep up with our ethylene production. And yeah, that's awesome. And then do I want to go... Yeah, 32,000 FE per tick, and we're not going to make that much. We're only, like right now, our max output would be 5,000 FE a tick. Um, so, shouldn't be a problem. And I think that's where we're going to leave it, guys. We have, in one episode, we completely accomplished uh, setting up gas burning generation and completely automating it. Uh, as far as I know, this will now run indefinitely. I don't think I'm going to need to worry about anything, really. We're breaking even on our hydrogen. Uh, I might and am going to do one more speed upgrade in this one so that we're not breaking even. We're actually producing extra hydrogen. I think that's a good idea. And we're not going to dump excess on the hydrogen. We're only going to dump excess on the oxygen. I want the hydrogen to back stuff. Yeah, by allowing that to back stuff, this machine will actually stop at some points because this one is very power hungry, being, you know, 2.5, um, you know, 1,000 <laughs> FE a tick. Um, so, but when it gets used, it will then shut off all right yeah so like i said guys uh that's where i'm gonna leave it for today my name is luke i am the offensive yak and thank you guys for joining me um if you're liking this content make sure to hit the like and subscribe button uh for more uh, gonna have a couple more videos coming out for you this week, uh, with schedule currently being, um, Friday through Monday. And, uh, well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Offensive Yak out.